What's going on, Brandon? We're stressed. Is that these eight chromosomes you're still working on? It is. They're so difficult to finish and they're so repetitive. But I really want to learn about infertility and brain function. And I think they can teach us so much. And I just don't know how to do it. Don't worry, man. You'll know what to do. What did Adam mean by I would know what to do? Maybe I need to think bigger. Maybe I need to be more creative to crack this code and finish this sequence. Maybe I need to be the ape. Want me to get snacks? Hey, Brandon, you coming? If I can only determine these sequences, they could further our scientific understanding of sex chromosome evolution which may help explain their significant role in biology. Ah, I have to get this right. Welcome, my friend. Hey, welcome everybody. I'd like to do a little brainstorming about what we should sequence next. Would anybody like to give ideas for species that we'd like to do next? Let's sequence bananas. They're delicious, easy to open, and everyone loves them. And I have plenty we can use. I'm not sure about sequencing bananas. Maybe we should do kiwi fruits. How about corn? Mm. It's an important agricultural product. Bananas! Mm. <laughs> All right, Brandon, that's enough. What's going on with you today? Is this about the ape sequence? You said I know what to do to solve the sequence, but I didn't know what you meant, and I was just trying to think like an ape. There, there. Brandon, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, but I meant just use your computational methods to assemble the genome. You didn't have to become the ape. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. All right, team, let's get back to work. We did it. We assembled the first complete chromosome sequences from six primate species. With these sequences, we are learning more about the evolution of sex chromosomes in the great apes. These sequences can help us better understand these endangered species and can inform future studies with applications in human genetics.